The game itself was fairly uninspiring. In fact, it was the lowest scoring Super Bowl in history. But none of that matters, certainly to New England's quarterback, Tom Brady. And here's the coach, Bill Belichick. They have teamed up for every one of the New England Patriots Super Bowl titles. The first one they got was 17 years ago. Ali John Ayanlar is in Atlanta. Well, the story of the night is if offense scores points, then defense wins you championships. The New England Patriots beat the LA Rams 13 to 3 on Sunday night here at Atlanta's state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Super Bowl 53. With the win, the team that has played in four of the last five Super Bowls wins their record-tying sixth, sixth Lombardi Trophy. Now, it was a pretty dull performance for both of these high-octane offenses. Tom Brady, the quarterback, was intercepted for the first time in his postseason career on the opening drive. And then Steven Gostowski failed to convert a field goal on their second. The New England Patriots took a 3-0 lead into halftime. And at that point, it actually looked like the halftime show was actually going to be the highlight of the night. And it certainly turned out to be one of them. Maroon 5 put on a breathtaking show with uh, local hip-hop artist Big Boy and Travis Scott in an impressive pyrotechnics and drone, drone swarm show. Now, the third quarter didn't start, wasn't any different to the first two, although L.A. did get on the board. But by the end of three quarters, it was the lowest scoring Super Bowl game in history. But a fourth quarter drive by the Patriots led uh, to the game's only touchdown by Sonny Michel and a late interception as well as a field goal by New England pretty much sealed the deal. So New England walks away with another win 17 years to the day over the same team which began their dynasty. With the win, Tom Brady becomes the oldest quarterback to win a Super Bowl title.